Excuse me. Yes. around here, right? Uh, Indeed. So then... Are you done looking around? Yeah, I think I've seen everything. Same. Let's take a quick break while we wait for the others. Look, it's the Grand Cipher. Oh yeah, Rackham did say he'd bring her in for repairs. Can I tell you something? I heard what you did when I was falling off the ship. I felt so happy knowing you sprang to my rescue. We've been through a lot together. Visited new islands, met new people. It hasn't always been the safest trip, but you've always been there to protect me. I just wanted to say thank you. And since our lives are intertwined, let's make the most of our journey together. Yeah. <laughs> now my face feels a little hot. <laughs> That's so mm -hmm. true. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't it smell nice? <laughs> sure does. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Kept y'all waiting. Cypher's officially in the shop. Nice work. Hey. Thanks, Rackham. So, we've got time to burn, it seems. Anyone uh, want Almost forgot this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys hear that? All right, I'm off. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon my rudeness. I, uh, don't do well with lizards. Hey! I ain't no lizard! It, it can talk? I do beg your pardon. We didn't mean to startle you. And we certainly don't intend on starting any trouble. Actually, we're a crew of humble Skyfarers. This is Vern. I assure you, he means no harm. If anything, he's quite the lovable dragon once you get to know him. Uh, you've got it all wrong, Catalina. I'm a cool dragon! Huh. Skyfarers, you say? Oh! Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... Roland, you've got to help us. A tornado suddenly hit our village out of nowhere. A tornado? Could something have angered Tempil's primal beast? Huh? Remain here in Folka. I'll handle the rest. My apologies. It seems I'm needed elsewhere, so I'm afraid this is farewell for now. He sure ran off in a hurry. And I heard him say Primal Beast. We should follow him. I got it. Oh my. That's it. What? There are still 
people stuck in Tempeel! Oh, yes. what do we do? What do we do? Ah. No. So the altar suddenly lit up, you know? And the wind was like a whoosh! And that primeval god is not happy. Slow down, take a few deep breaths, and tell me exactly what happened. Okay, okay. I'm calm. An altar, fierce winds, and what they call a primeval god. Sound familiar? Yeah, it does. Smells fishy. It's gotta be connected to Bahamut going ballistic on us. <sighs> that guy with glasses knows something we don't. Wanna see if we can tag along? He could lead us to a clue. What do you think, Captain? Sounds an awful lot like a primal beast to me. Yep, which means there's only one way to handle this. Right then, I know what I have to do. Time to get moving. Um, excuse me? Ah, hello again. The situation is a bit out of hand, as you can see. If you need something from me, can it wait? I must leave town for a spell. Then I'll cut to the chase. Allow us to join you. Say that again? It seems you're in a predicament. Depending on the situation, we could be of help. I appreciate the offer, I really do, but... You mentioned a primal beast, right? If that's the problem, we want to lend a hand. We had our own snag as soon as we arrived in this skydom. Bet your round of drinks, whatever you're facing, has to do with us, too. Simply put, our goals are aligned. It takes two to tango, wouldn't you say? I don't know. Hmm. Though, more hands would certainly be welcome. Very well. I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yay! Anything can happen out there. You should get organized before we head out. Okay. Huh? All right, so who are we calling to the front line? Lead the way. What are you waiting for? I'm your Rose. See that counter? That's where we can pick up new quests. Let's check back often, okay? Gonna need serious help fixing the tornado problem. Oh, 
Oh, are you a Skyfarer, perchance? If you're looking for coin, I can help you find jobs from all over the Skydom. So, would you be interested in taking a quest or two? Or, uh, maybe more? <laughs> Here it is. Our adventure began with a strange light falling over my home island of Zinkenstill. I chased it to the impact site, where I found a blue-haired girl named Lyria and a knight, Catalina. The girl was shaken, and pretty soon I learned the reason why. She was on the run from Erste Empire soldiers. I knew an unfair fight when I saw one, so I stepped up to protect Lyria from those awful tyrants. Catalina and I fended them off well enough, but when their backs were in the corner, they released a fire-breathing hydra. It charged me, sending me flying into the tree line. Moments away from death, all I could think about was Dad. He'd been the one who trained me, and he'd done a great job, but... Well, who expects their son to get attacked by a five-headed horror? He was going to be devastated. So, it's all over. Just as I began to sink into darkness, a gentle light enveloped my body. Lyria, wreathed by a mystical halo, was floating above me with her hand outstretched. She explained that she was going to merge our life forces. Fortunately, it worked. From that moment forward, Lyria and I would be inextricably linked. Looking into her blue eyes, I knew I had nothing to fear, not even death itself. Two people, one life, a greater whole. Lyria had taken a huge risk to save me. Now, if one of us got hit with a fatal blow, it was curtains for both. And that thought awakened in me a desperate hunger for survival for life. The next moment, Lyria and I felt this reverberation of power. The torrent of emotion rushing from me had awakened something. Darkness and flames swirled around us, coalescing into a massive dragon, Bahamut. With him on our side, we made short work of the Imperial Hydra. Now that their trump card had been blasted into oblivion, the Imperial Army had no choice but to run. Sometimes I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't chased that light. No Lyria, no lifelink, no adventure. Man, I probably wouldn't even have set foot off of Zinkenstill. Fate's a funny thing, isn't it? Since meeting Lyria, we've seen our fair share of joy and happiness, and pain and suffering. But the Grand Cypher crew doesn't buckle under pressure. We'll take on anything the journey throws at us. No regrets.
Now, where was I? Oh, right. We just humiliated the Empire, who probably had reserves waiting somewhere close by. We realized we needed to get off Zinkenstil. Fast. The Empire was not going to rest while Lyria was on the loose. And I figured that since we shared a life force now and all, it was in everyone's best interests if we stayed together. Plus, I'd always wanted to explore the far reaches of the skies. Though, doing it on the run, not what I had in mind. There was so much to think about, so much to decide. But all those plans could come after we had escaped Zinkenstil. I didn't want a whole army, this time with, I don't know, 30 Hydras marching on my home island. And, well, I had another, more personal reason for wanting to leave. Before I knew it, our journey was at an end. The end. As in, we'd reached the end of the skies. My son, I'm waiting for you on Estalusia. I thought about Dad's letter. I missed him. When I was young, he would take me to the edge of the island, and we'd sit there, admiring the clouds. I wanted so badly to explore those skies, just like Dad. I had to see him again. And now, I wouldn't have to make that journey alone. With Vern, Lyria, and Catalina at my side, we commandeered a small imperial craft and set out for the greatest of destinations, Estalusia. All right, see you. Uh, incredible. The ship will depart shortly. Is everyone ready? Yep, we're good to go. Good. All aboard the airship. There's no time to waste. Do your thing, autopilot. So, I bet you're wondering who I am. Mm -hmm. I work for the Church of Folka, mostly as a vicar. Call me Roland. I'm Catalina, protector of this crew. Name's Rackham. Cheers. And I'm Eo. Eugen here. Rosetta. You can call me Vern! I'm Lyria. Nice to meet you. And finally, this is our captain. Wow. I can't imagine captaining a crew at your age. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly a slouch myself. You see, I'm kind of a Mr. Fix-It, handling all the odd jobs after church. From furniture repair to marriage counseling, I can mend it all. Results guaranteed. When Roland's on the case, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Too dramatic, huh? This guy's a few apples short of a bushel. He'll hear you, dummy. Glad you're with us. High five, fix it, dude. Uh, dude? <laughs> Once again, my name is Roland. 
Yep, heard you the first time. Cheers, fix it, dude. But it's rolling. We've got some time before we reach Tempeel, so would you mind checking on the others? Seems useful. Behold, new power. Great! Excellent! She's not the most luxurious ship, but I assure you she's skyworthy. Wow, this part of the sky is full of islands. Indeed, they form the archipelago, and one of them is home to Folka. So this other island we're flying to, will we be arriving soon? Yes, we'll be there shortly. I just hope the islanders are evacuating as we speak. You said we're going to Tempeel, right? What kind of place is it? It's a bustling mining village. All the rare metals they dig up put them on the map. What? Does anyone else see that? I mean, the wind around the island. You can actually see it. Huh, yeah. Why is it all weird? <laughs> the gales are reaching us from this distance? I suppose that confirms my suspicions. Technique. Only a pro would turn starboard to stabilize the ship. I'll send her down a bit farther from the mines. It's about to get bumpy. Everyone, grab onto something.
before my eyes. Whoa. It's okay, sweetie. There should be more people here. Ah. Roland. We should talk. I see. The abnormal winds agitated the goblins who in turn attacked the islanders. We managed to escape, but the others... I pray the worst hasn't befallen them. Try not to worry too much. Just leave everything to Mr. Fix-It. Thank you. I'll go spread the word. That being said, I can't just leave these people here unprotected. What should I do? He needs our aid, Captain. Did somebody call for goblin exterminators? We'll handle the goblins. Are you sure? That'd certainly take a load off my shoulders. Talk about having the right crew for the job. Thanks a lot. I'll come find you after I get all these people aboard the airship. If you happen to see any more islanders out there, could you give them assistance? Yep, you got it. Oh, I almost forgot to give you this. If anything happens, we can communicate with each other using this device. We can talk on this thing? Looks like a flower glued to a box. It's a type of transceiver. It'll allow us to talk over long distances. Aren't transceivers expensive? Are you sure you want to give us one? Yep, don't worry. I didn't pay for it. Since I put it together myself. Ah, check this out. It even has a nifty light attachment. Why don't you turn it on, Vern, when you want to grab everyone's attention? Might come in handy. Nice. You got skills, fix it, dude. <sighs> it's rolling. Who'd have thunk you could make sweet gizmos like this? Thank you. We'll definitely make good use of it. Follow that road, and it'll take you to Tempeel. Please, help anyone you see. I'm counting on you. Move it, people! Double time! 